In this video, I tested these photography gloves outside in the Swedish winter. And I'm here now to tell you all the good things about them and the bad things. I'll be honest and tell you my honest opinion. So let's start with the good things. So the first good feature about these gloves is the ability to expose your fingers like this and it will snap here magnetically. This is very useful to do some delicate tasks in the camera to edit the settings and it's useful for me also because I like to use my phone a lot. I record my FPV videos with my phone so I can just activate it and check what I recorded. So this is the first good thing. Let's jump to the next one. The second good thing for photographers about this glove is what comes here inside this pocket. This, li Oops. this little part here, which is used to screw the cameras to the tripod mount or to gimbals. And to be honest, I thought that I'm not gonna use this because now tripod mounts come with this part that you can rotate by hand. But when I was out there, I actually found that my camera was loose and about to fall down and I got worried. So then I used it to tighten my camera a lot. Then I felt safe and I found it handy. And the third thing that's useful for photographers is this area here in the thumb, behind the thumb, which is designed to be used for cleaning lenses. And it has a soft touch. And uh, I actually used it outside. I cleaned my camera and it's really nice. The fourth good thing about these gloves is this area here. It has a good grip. It is a bit sticky, which is good because you don't know how much pressure to apply to hold your things. And this will make sure that your valuable things don't slip and are safe. Now we come to the bad things, the things that I didn't like about these gloves. The first thing and the most important thing is the warmth. I bought these to keep my hands warm. I have cold hands and cold feet, so I decided to invest in good gloves and shoes. So I bought these and I tested them on minus three degrees. Here it gets to minus 16, so it wasn't that bad when I tested them. And at some points, my hands got painfully cold. I didn't expect that. So from that aspect, I'm disappointed. I was also planning to go and use them in the north of Sweden where it gets to minus 20, minus 30 and take photos of the northern lights and stay at night taking photos and videos. I don't think that would be possible now unless I buy another layer that I wear underneath it, which I didn't think would be necessary with the advertisement of these gloves because they advertise that they are made for deep winter and they are not cheap. I have my other gloves that I use normally when it is above zero degrees. I use them even when they are, when it is minus degrees, but they get cold. And these are half the price and thinner, so more comfortable to use. And they have touch screen without exposing the fingers. So these are good above zero degrees. and are not comfortable when it's minus degrees. I thought this will be a huge upgrade, but it is not. So from that aspect, I'm not happy. The second bad thing is that it's not that bad, but exposing the fingers to use the phone, for example, it's useful, but they get cold. So I rather to be able to use the phone without exposing my fingers, like with the other gloves. So if there was touch screen feature here without exposing the fingers, that would have been nice. The third bad thing is the fit. I mean, Hands are different and my hands are different than other people and it is mentioned in the website that it is difficult to get the right fit and I understand that. So I bought an L size after I measured my hand. It was too big and there was a lot of gaps. So I decided to return it and get an M size which fits nicely as you can see now. However, because it is a long, um, because it's a long glove and you can see it goes up to here, it keeps slipping out because my jacket keeps pushing it out. And I, even when I put the Velcro like this, it still goes out. It is supposed to go underneath my jacket, but the jacket opening is not that big to go above it. And it's not that thin to go below it. So the jacket keeps pushing it out, which is not nice. Uh, maybe if the Velcro was even stronger or goes tighter, or if it was above, it will not slip out. But this is something that's not comfortable. So that was my honest opinion about these gloves. I don't know if I like them or not. Let me know in the comments what you think. They are nice, they have a lot of features for, for photographers, but for me, I have cold hands. I'm a tall guy, as I said, and uh, I'm not sure. 
if uh, they are the right ones for me or not. I might buy uh, a liner to go inside of it. We'll see. So let me know what you think in the comments.